Guten Abend and good evening. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a serious video. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's going to be kind of serious. It's going to be some in, uh, informative video. Um, see, I got the nice shirt on, got my hair all done, got a nice watch on. It's going to be a good video. Uh, <laughs> it, it It's going to combine two of my favorite things in the world. Um, farts and useless knowledge uh you're gonna want to pay uh, watch the whole video because uh we're not gonna give away all 19 facts uh at once uh there will be 19 facts some of them are gonna be interesting some of you're gonna be like oh my god really but yes there'll be 19 facts and what am i so what am i gonna do uh to get you through these facts well we've got some red hot hard boiled pickled eggs uh, there's pickled eggs in there. There's some chili peppers. I don't expect them to be too hot, but hey, you never know. Uh, it's going to be a lot of hard-boiled eggs. I, from what I can count, I think there's six in here. Might be seven. Who knows? So we're going to eat an egg, and then we're going to give you some facts about eggs. Uh, about eggs. Pfft, about farts. Because uh, I intend to be fully loaded after this. So I guess without any further ado, I'm Matty Ice. And it's eating time. So Bayview uh, red hot hard boiled pickled eggs. I picked these up from Menards. They're like three bucks, four bucks, something like that. And I forgot my dang salt. Great. We're gonna be eating these sans salt. Ooh. <laughs> Might not even need it. Holy cow. Um I was like pickle brine, so okay. Well, we're gonna eat the first egg, <laughs> maybe, and uh, give you some facts while I choke this down and try not to get sick. See how hot they are. Um, oh my god, it's so dry. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is going to be fun. Oh my God. <clears throat> There's one. We don't need a salt. We're all right. All right. <clears throat> um, it's got some heat to it. Um, they're not bad pickled eggs, honestly. But yeah. <clears throat> Tongue's dancing a little bit. So, alright, so let's start off. Let's go, let's go some interesting facts about the fart. The longest fart on record was 2 minutes and 45 seconds by a gentleman named Herkimer Chort Ripley in New York City. Back on October 11th, 1972. Two minutes and 45 seconds. He, I mean, he had to have muscle conditioning because there ain't no way you could do, you got that much gas build up or you'd start looking like Andre the Giant and end up looking like James Hostadugan or something. Anyway, um, the loudest fart on record was 113 decibels. Now, the average conversation, I think, is, what, 60, 65 decibels, something like that, and a lawnmower's hitting, like, 110. So that might be an eardrum breaker. That's a loud fart. Um, seals and sea lions have the smelliest farts. I, why? I, I I couldn't figure out why. I'm guess it has, obviously, it has something to do with their diet. I would assume fish and plankton, I guess, make smelly farts. And... Interesting, and this this one is actually kind of interesting. The sloth, three-toed sloth, cannot fart. Cannot fart. And here's why. Everything that you know about the sloth is slow. Everything's slow, including how it digests food. The food that it digests goes so slow through its system that the gases from the food just get absorbed into its system, and by the time it hits the anus... There is no fart. So, 
Slots can't fart. Use that one at your next dinner special. So, all right, there's round one. <laughs> They're like, these are like really hard. Giggity. Next, we're gonna chase this down with some uh, Diet Cherry Pepsi. This is the drink of the gods. Best soda pop ever. Fight me, bro. Am I too old to say that? Where's North Cup? Would say you're too old to chew your mouth open. Go check out his channel, uh, Northy Zilla, on YouTube if you want to see somebody die at Call of Duty all the time. It is funny, though. I do laugh. I enjoy getting on there and just talking smack. Alright. There's two. I think there is six. So. <clears throat> Chapter two of the Matty Ice is Interesting Facts. This one will be about science. Ah, that is spicy. Flatu, flatulophobia is the fear of farts. Not just your own, but even somebody else's. If you just absolutely cannot stand and scared of farts, you have flatulophobia. Put that on your Scrabble board. Um, on the flip side of that, eproctophilia Eproctophilia is the love or sexual arousal by farts. Eproctophilia. Um, I don't. I, I guess there's a niche out there for everything. I mean, I, I enjoy a good fart. They make me laugh, but I can't say I get a little, a little excited by a fart. Maybe, maybe the fart game at work, and when somebody eats 20, 30 farts, that does that maybe, but no. The proctophilia. Uh, farts contain nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and methane. But what you smell, the, most of those are colorless, odorless gases. But what you smell in a fart is hydrogen sulfide. These are all gases. When somebody says, uh, 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 you're breathing in poop particles. No, you're not. You're breathing in gases. Now, if you're in the bathroom and you got your phone with and you flush your toilet, then yes, then you got poop particles. But farts are pure gas, 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 gas. And here and here's an interesting one, which I am gonna put. See, so you can figure this out yourselves. The average fart is 0.2 newtons of force. 0.2 newtons of force. One newton is about point. Two two four eight foot pounds per second, meaning that uh, the average fart is point zero four four nine six foot pounds per second, or point zero six watts. You figure your average light bulb is what fifteen twenty sixty watt light bulb. It would take a lot of farts to power that light bulb. So. That was in part two. Two. Huh? Ah. Ah. What's that now? A lot of juice in here. Here we go. Good luck tonight, Brandy. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna sleep on the couch. Just a little sip to help get it down. And, uh, the yolks, they're pretty dry. I mean, they're good. They're a little spicy. Uh, Mom, there's no way you could handle these. No way. Well, if I want another bite, I think I might. Ah, all right, there's three. Mm. My God, we're getting there, guys. All right. 
Now it's time for some slang. Uh, you've heard of a brain fart uh, when you're forgetful or a little cloudy headed. Uh, with like when you wake up in the morning and you haven't had your coffee yet and somebody asks you a question you're like, uh, 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 brain fart. Uh, an old fart is an old person like me or uh, mama ice. You're old. Uh, love you all. And, and dad, you're old too. Uh, a shart. I'm sure every one of you knows what a shart is. And they say, you know, if your stomach's a little upset, you test test out a fart first. Let out a little, let out a little bit first if you're a little questionable. There's a shart. <laughs> Shit while you fart. Uh, you know, you've all done it. If you say you haven't, you're a liar. And you're full of shit. And here's a good one that I didn't know. I knew what the thing was, but I didn't know there's a name for it. So, lighting your farts, which I have done before. Uh, I remember one time I was at my friend Ben Apodaca's house. We were at Mama D's house, and Appa D, and um, I turned off all the lights. I'm like, hey, Ben, you got to watch this. And I laid down, and I laid my legs, and I lit this fart. And the, the room is dark now. And I lit this fart, and the flame went up my legs and down the side, and I just saw Ben's face go. That is all I saw. Funniest. Oh, my God. I had tears. It was so funny. Uh, in Australia, they call it the blue angel or the blue dart for some reason. But the technical term for lighting your fart, pyroflatulence. There's another triple word score because there's some there's a Y in there and some U's and C's. There's a triple word score on uh, on uh, uh, Scrabble for you. Three to go. What was wrong with me? Thank God these aren't like grade A large eggs. <laughs> oh man, it's a lot of egg. It's gonna come back up. I just know it. It's the it's the white part there. That's that's not. Not sitting well. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I am sorry. <clears throat> Three hard boiled eggs is my limit. Uh, I can't. Oh, so bad. Let's just get rid of it. Let's just do all these facts at once then, because I uh, uh, don't know if I can keep it down. Here we go. Uh, Mr. Methane. I don't know if you heard of him, but I have, and anybody that works with me has, because I play his videos a lot. Uh, he is a British flatulist. Uh, he plays music with his farts. You name a song and he'll, Sweet Caroline. <laughs> it is, man, I will laugh and laugh. Old Town Road by with Billy Ray Cyrus. That one that he does. <laughs> oh my God, so funny. Uh, Stephanie Motto from 90 Day Fiance. Uh, made $50,000 a week at a total of $200,000 until a health scare caused her to retire for selling her jarred farts. And since she's not a flatulist like Mr. Methane, eating uh, beans and stuff to get her to go it just causes uh, a lot of intestinal damage. So don't force a fart. Or you could get a hernia or blow out your o ring. Or say, you, a lot of health related issues. Don't force a fart. Um, and now, Exeter University in the UK says researchers, researchers, so you know it's official. I've never heard of this college, but it's a college, so it's official. You know what it is. Uh, researchers say smelling farts, in particular the hydrogen gas, 
helps against heart attacks, strokes, and cancer by breathing in farts. So I'm doing all of you guys a favor. You can thank me later. Thank me in the in the comments down below. Um, no more eggs. I'll get sick. Uh, best for last. Why not? You guys, that's what you guys came to see. Best for last. Um, farting in the shower is worse, or in the bathtub, it's worse than farting in normal because when you just fart normally, you get underwear, pants, whatever, and it's, so it's filtering out uh, a lot of the hydrogen sulfide and you're getting all the other gases. But in the shower or in the bath, there are no filters. It's you're, it's it's mostly your hydrogen uh, sulfide, but in a bathtub, the water you lay down in the bath, the water filters it all out. Think, <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Think of a bong. If you have a bong and you take a bong hit, what are you doing? You're filtering it out through the water. You're getting all the good stuff. Farting in the bathtub is in the same effect. A fart bong. There you go. You can thank me for that. Fart bong. Um, let's get it down. That wasn't so bad. Um, and if you want to fart more, watch, watch season four, episode two of Big Bang Theory and watch Sheldon Cooper, what his thoughts are on cruciferous vegetables and other foods. Cruciferous. Uh, Foods include broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, cabbage, garlic, cheese, fruit, nuts, beer, wine, and eggs. <sighs> Gotta chew it and swallow. It's the... My fingers are getting all like I've been in a bathtub. And then, last but not least... Now, this comes from a dictionary, Merriam-Webster Dictionary. You've all heard of the term moist. You all, Everybody's got one friend that can't stand that word, that cringes anytime they hear the word moist. Well, the word foist, F-O-I-S-T, foist, is in an actual dictionary. I didn't believe it myself. I had to look it up. It is in their foist. And it means silent fart. Foist is in the dictionary for silent fart. Can you believe that? What a, what a country we live in. So, I hope you learned something today. I hope you were informed. I hope you were at least slightly entertained. I mean, slightly. This isn't the typical of just me burning and eating, whatever. But I hope you at least enjoyed it and found it informative. And I don't know what else you'd find this because <laughs> I appreciate you watching. No. Uh, there. That's it. That is it for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Be kind to each other. Love somebody out there. And until next time, I'm Matty Ice. Thanks for watching.